Good morning, Lord Elsie Middle School students. This is Mr. Woolley. And remember, the information contained in this video is intended to be viewed only by the students in Mr. Woolley's classroom. By watching the video, you will agree that you will not record or share the video with anyone who is not a student in Mr. Woolley's classroom. All right, for today, we are going to work on surface area. We've got a couple of lessons we'll do on surface area. And then here's lesson 21. Um, with surface area, you're finding the area of all the faces on the outside of the three-dimensional object. Now, usually this consists of squares, rectangles, triangles, and so on. So, anyways, the first example here is they have a rectangular prism. And what they do is they want us to draw this out into a net. Now, it's kind of hard to do. They didn't give you very much room, so this is kind of how this looks. Um, as you can see, um, uh, we have a few measurements here. We have three inches across from left to right four inches of depth from front to back of the shape, and as you can see, it's six inches tall, this rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is like a box type of shape. Now what this consists of is, in this net here, you have three by four rectangle on the bottom, and you have a four by six rectangle going up the sides. That's that shaded area. And then of course you have another three by four on the top. Now on the face of it, on the front, you have a three inch by six inch rectangle. And on the back, you have three inch by six inch rectangle. And then on the left side, you're also gonna have another four by six. So if I wanna kinda of think of these, I have this rectangle is underneath in the bottom. And this rectangle matches on the top. Or vice versa, whichever way you wanna think of them as. I have a three by six rectangle here in the front and another three by six rectangle on the back side. You can't see it, but you know it's there. And you have a four by six rectangle on the left side, can't see it, but you know it's there, and you got a 4 by 6 rectangle on the right side as well. So, here's what we're going to do, we're going to find the area of each shape. Well, the top and the bottom is each 3 by 4, 3 by 4, that's 12 and 12 for 24 total. The front and back, 3 by 6, another 3 by 6, so it's 18 and 18. And left side and right side, well, it's a 4 by 6, and a 4 by 6, you got 24 and 24. You add up all your pieces and you get 108 square inches. All right, they ask us to do the same kind of thing again here. Except now, Marcus thinks that the surface area of the right triangular prism will be half that of the right rectangular prism. He wants to use the modified formula. Surface area equals one half, two times length times width, two times length times height, plus two times width times height. Do you agree or disagree with Marcus? Use nets of prisms to support your argument. So this kid thinks that if it's a triangular prism, so it's like that um, previous problem, but it's now it's kind of sliced diagonally in half compared to this one. So that's the original, cut it in half diagonally. He says the surface area should be half of it. Well, let's go ahead and see. All right, so we still have a three by six rectangle across the front. There's a three by six here. And you have a four by six rectangle, as you can see there, on the side still. So there's my four by six. But on the back side of this, that's where I got sliced, now you have a five inch by six inch rectangle on that back side. So there's my five by six. Now on the top and the bottom, I do have matching triangles. I got a three by four triangle. Some are, triangles are base times height divided by two. And I got another one, three by four rectangle across the top there, three times four divided by two. If I take a look at those, as you can kind of see in the picture here, I, I uh, um, got them all kind of set up here. We have a rectangle one, gave me an area of 30. Rectangle 2 gave me an area of 18. And rectangle 3 gave me an area of 24. So those are the three rectangles that made up the front, the right side, and that sliced back side. Now, the two triangles, 3 times 4 divided by 2 gives you 6. 3 times 4 divided by 2 gives you 6. Grand total is 84. Now, the rectangular prism that we did over here, remember we had 108 for an answer. So rectangular prism was 108. If I add these all up, I get 84. So no, the surface area of a triangular prism is not half that of a rectangular prism. Due to the fact that when you made that slice and cut it, you created this 5 by 6 rectangle on the back side that did not exist before. So now you have a new face, so now it's not going to be half the original. Alright, let's move on. I'm going to slide over actually a couple pages. We're going to the problem side. Now, what I did on these problems, instead of using fractions, let's just convert these to decimals. They give you quick conversions. With 2.5, we're just going to use 2.5. 7.5, we're going to use 7.5. Now, I labeled each of these faces out on this net here to find the total surface area. So here, I have a, on A, I got a 5 by 2.5, which is the same one as C. 
it's still 5 across, 2.5 there. So A and C are 5 times 2.5, and you get 12.5. Rectangle B, it's still 5 this way, but you can see rectangle B has a, a measurement of 7.5, or what we're getting is 7.5. Same kind of thing happens here in D. So B and D are the same, 5 times 7.5, and they reach 37.5. Now there's little wings off to the side here. It's 2.5, or what we're going to use 2.5, and times 7.5, or 7.5. Do that for E and F, and I get 18.75. Add them all up. Very simple, 137.5. So essentially, you found the area of a rectangle here, a rectangle here, a rectangle here. And you had a matching pair somewhere else in the picture. So you're really going to do like three big steps of work. The total must be end. I'm going to break down the triangular prism the same way. I have A is a 10 by 12 wide, 10 by 12 rectangle. B is still 12 this way, but it's 8 this way. 12 by 8, gives me 96, you can see. And then you have another 10 by 12. So there's like the three rectangles right there. I got a 120, a 96, and a 120. Now the triangles, remember the triangles you need where they form a right angle to get the true base and the height. So I'm going to use this in my base, and this 9 and 1 fifth, or what I'm going to call 9.2, is going to be my height. So now remember, base times height divided by 2. That's the area of a triangle. 8 times 9.2 divided by 2 gives me 36.8. And remember, there are two of those. D and E are the same thing. So add them all up, you get 409.6. One more here. Given a cube with edges that are 3 fourths of an inch long. Now, 3 fourths is a common fraction that we know converts to 0 0.75, hopefully. And it wants to find the surface area of the cube. We're going to use part A here. Now, a cube is a rectangular prism but it's actually got six identical faces. You have a top and a bottom, a front and a back, and a left and right. But being a cube, they're all made up of all these little squares. So each square is 0 0.75 by 0 0.75, 3 fourths of an inch by 3 fourths of an inch. If I multiply them together, I get 0 0.5625. And since there are six identical faces on that cube, just multiply that by six, and 3.375 square inches. All right, thanks for watching, and go ahead and practice some school you try today.